This one, I love it. It is Rare Vintage 1964 Krylon Glowing Fluorescent Green Spray Paint. If you guys don't know, discontinued colors and items that they no longer make can definitely be a bolo. Uh, spray paint. Don't pass it by. Look it up. Some of it goes for crazy money. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is going to be a Bolo category video, and I'm going to talk to you about big money Bolos, things that glow. And this video is so fun. I learned so much. Super excited to share this one with you guys. And let's dig right in and get started on some big money Bolos. All right, so the first item here is this vintage Murano Uranium Swan Glow. So Murano can be in itself a bolo item, but this one, check it out, it glows. This sold for $286.99. I always say that I would put the glowing picture first just because I think it looks so cool, but this one has really great color to it. So um, this was a good sale. And, uh oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Ah, ah, ah. What did I do there? Let's pull this up. Oh, here it is. This swan, $286.99. But I want to see this one now because it sold for $499. Ooh, we just got an extra bonus bolo here. Check this out. How cool is that? And he glows too. This one is, uh, look. Ooh, L-I-C-I-O. I don't know what that is. Zanetti. So Murano Art Glass. How cool is that? And those were both good sales because feedback was left. And that's how you check for feedback. All right. This is a vintage Art Deco smoking ashtray. Uh, it says Jadeite Glass Uranium Glows. So look at this amazing vintage piece. Check it out. All right. And that was also a good sale. Sold for $600. I'm sorry, $400. The next item is this vintage 1967 Casper the Friendly Ghost Bank. It is a blow mold. And I wish they had a picture of it actually glowing. They do not. But still a very cool piece. Sold for $67.88. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. And that was an auction with 11 bids. And you can see here that that was a good sale also. The next item that sold is this antique vintage rare uh, cadmium, C-A-D-M-I-U-M, -M, UV glow rosary yellow fauceted glass and brass. Look how pretty that is. So it doesn't glow like a green color. It, it glows more of like a pinkish peach color. Very cool. That sold on auction for $80 um, free shipping. The next item, and that was also a good sale. I'm just showing you the feedback so that you know that it actually sold for that price. PJ Sparkles Sparklins Purple Bear Plush Mattel 1989 Glowing Stars. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Do you love it? Oh, I want one. I just want one for me, $175 on that. I mean, how cool is that? I'm guessing it's probably um, activated by light. So it probably, if you put it up to a, like if I put it up to my ring light, it would probably um, glow even more. All right, and that was a good sale. The next item, oh, yep, I was gonna show you. This is not a fluke, you guys, okay? So look at all of these sold, 175, 155, 150, 154. Definitely a big money bolo. So if you see this plush, you definitely want to uh, pick that pick that up. These are not, these are Build-A-Bear. Um, and I think the eyes glow on that. I want to say I had that in one of my uh, Build-A-Bear videos. So... Not a huge money bolo, but a nice, nice little pickup. 
All right, this is the vintage 1984 Columbia Pictures, the real Ghostbusters glow. Um, and he sold for $99.99. And you can see he's got some paint loss, but he is still a big money bolo there. And again, good sale. All right, this is a vintage McKee uranium custard glass fridgy storage box. Here it is. Very cool item. Sold for $98 on auction plus shipping and a good, a good sale. The next item are these vintage Hasbro, Hasbro Play School Glow Worms. And I actually sold some of these that I got out of a mystery toy box that I picked up at a YouTube auction from Auctions For You. If you're not following Auctions For You and you're looking for inventory, definitely check her out and Donatella Bottolino. I will link them down in the description. These little glow worms sold for $103.50 plus shipping. So if you see them, definitely, um, definitely, definitely look them up. Some of them individually go for more. It just depends on which figure it is. And they do have a picture of them glowing. However, it's not super, super noticeable, but they do glow. And that one was good. And I wanted to show you some others. Now, this one sold on um, Best Offer, so I'm not sure what it actually ended up selling for, but it actually has the dragonfly and two figures, but it's not a fluky thing. These are definitely a bolo. Look at these in the original packaging. So a very, very fun, cool item to be on the lookout for. I just wanted to show you that these do go for big money on a regular basis. Now, there are some that are bread and butter. But like this one must be special and harder to find. Here, yep, same one it looks like. There's this little guy. So just some things to be on the lookout for. Original packaging, if you can get them new old stock, of course, that's going to bring up the value. But again, some of them are just going to be bread and butter if you sell them individually. So... This is a vintage Ready Kilowatt Glow in the Dark figurine. This sold for $117.50 on auction plus shipping. And these dice, vintage large one inch black Bakelite dice, rounded corners, neon glow. I don't know what neon glow means. They didn't show a picture of it glowing. So I don't know if these glow under a black light or not. But I decided to show this anyway because I wanted to let you know that dice, Bakelite dice, can be a bolo. Um, I do have a video that shows you how to test for Bakelite. You can search that on my channel. Um, but Bakelite bracelets and different forms of Bakelite can definitely be um, a bolo. But this sold for $133.50 plus shipping. And that was also a good sale. The next item is this Boglins, and I have sold a Boglin. Mine was not glow in the dark, and mine was in horrible condition, and it was still a big money bolo. Um, this guy glows in the dark in the original packaging. It sold for $137.50, but these Boglins are definitely something to look for. They're like, you can put your hand in it. They're like a little puppet. And that was good. Good, valid feedback there. This is just the sword from the He-Man Scare Glow uh, figure. This is just the staff. It sold for $147.50 with free shipping. And that was, that was good. Good sale there. This is a vintage Heaton or Hedden Crazy Crawler Glow Worm Color Wooden Lure. I don't think this actually glows, but glow was in the title. And I wanted to show it to you guys anyway, because some of these old fishing lures can definitely go for big bucks. This one's actually marked on the bottom. Sold for $177.50 plus shipping on auction. And that one was good. Here we have these eight vintage Ross Bro white and red trim hard plastic Christmas ornaments. So how many of you would have walked right past these Christmas ornaments? Check them out. They sold for $180.27 on auction plus shipping. And again, that was a good transaction. 
This one, I love it. It is Rare Vintage 1964 Krylon Glowing Fluorescent Green Spray Paint. If you guys don't know, discontinued colors and items that they no longer make can definitely be a bolo. Uh, spray paint. Don't pass it by. Look it up. Some of it goes for crazy money. $197.50 plus shipping on that one. And that was an auction. And feedback, positive feedback was left. The next item is this vintage matchbox fighting furries, furries Captain Kid figure, ghost glow dark, and it says Sears. Not really 100% sure what this is, but it sold for $227 on auction, free shipping. Now, I did want to show you that this one only sold for $56. So if you find these, you're definitely going to want to look it up to see if you have a big money or just an $56. I still consider that big money, but there's a big difference between the two there. So it probably depends on the figure. This is a Nine Inch Nails vintage long sleeve, large glow in the dark shirt. This sold on auction for $230.50. And again, I wish there was a picture of it actually um, glowing. And feedback was left. The next item is this ghost face scream mask. Now, this one is Easter Unlimited. Where you want to look for is underneath the chin, you want to look for this. It's going to say Fun World Division or it's going to say Easter Unlimited. These do vary. Some of these are bread and butter. Some of these are crazy big money. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you another one here shortly, but this one sold for $334 free shipping with 58 bids. And this was a good sale. Positive feedback was left. Now, this is a Lisa Frank vintage Zoomer and Zorbit mini backpack glow in the dark. And they did a picture of it glowing, which I love. This sold on auction for $300 and buyer paid shipping. Anything Lisa Frank, uh, definitely look it up. Some of it goes for crazy money. Now there are, there's vintage, like old, old, which is capital L, capital F. And then there's older stuff that's got um, all lowercase. Some of that is still, I think vintage, not sure of the exact dates on all of it. But um, if it's lowercase, I did see that the Rebel reseller sold something on Etsy for big money that was lowercase, all lowercase, still sold for a lot. Now, she did say it took a little bit longer to sell. Um, and then they are coming out with Lisa Frank new items that have the big L and the big F again, which is going to make it harder for some of us to determine if it's vintage or not. So um Definitely do your homework before you list because some of it can go for big money. All right. Feedback was left on that one as well. Positive feedback. This here is the Vintage Masters of the Universe. This is actually the Scare Glow figurine or figure, not really a figurine, toy figure. And this was the uh, staff in the other picture that sold for over $100. This is the complete figure. This guy sold for $353 on auction plus shipping and positive feedback was left. This here is a huge Victorian. So it's a blood and uranium glass. It is beautiful. It sold for $345 on auction. I just love this. This is absolutely amazing. And I sold where I saw where a bunch of these had sold over and over this same like look, but apparently this one is bigger. So 345 plus shipping. I don't think there was feedback left on that one, but if you go into the bid history, you can actually see they started this auction at, oh, I have a offer on something, $8.50 and it got bid up to 345. So a good indicator as to whether or not the person paid is you can look at their feedback. But what I like to look at is how in demand is the item and it had nine unique bidders and this bidder had over a thousand feedback. So that tells me it's probably an item that is desirable. So that's one way that I research. These just absolutely mind blowing crazy. Vintage lot of two Hasbro kooky spooky finger puppets. And I'm like, is this for real? This is one of those where I'm like, huh, $701 on auction 
plus shipping. That's I, I, I probably would have picked it up because I just, it's vintage Halloween, but there's no way I would have known that it went for that much unless I would have researched this. So I'm like, is this for real? So I did a little research and it is definitely for real. Look at these sold prices. Absolutely crazy. So I just wanted to show you guys that these do indeed sell for big money. This is a 1969 newspaper ad insert. It's just the insert. So you know those people that buy old magazines and they, and they part them out right here. There it is, $69, it's awesome. Okay, so here is a vintage scream mask. This one is Fun World Division. Let me see, it's really hard to see, but it says Fun World Division. So you see the difference? This, the other one was Easter Unlimited. This one is Fun World Division. From what I understand, the Fun World Division go for more. Uh, this one sold for $994. I'm guessing this is a first generation because it sold for so much, but you can go on YouTube and search videos that tell you how to understand which scream masks go for more. Um, I know it's the shape of the nose. I think some of them, it's the shape of the mouth and measurements. I mean, it gets pretty detailed, but collectors, they definitely know. And positive feedback was left for that one. So pretty crazy. This here is a vintage, a little happiness, blushables, bunny, plush, glowing cheeks. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Um, I know that I really enjoy picking up plush. Most of it is long tail. Most of it is bread and butter, but it is so easy to list and you can usually source it very cheap. This one I've never seen. It sold for $174.99 plus shipping. And that was a positive feedback sale. And... Here is um, what I searched was uranium glass. And here are more of those um, real pretty, um, I forget what it was called. But I just want to show you, uh, uranium glass is definitely a big money bolo. I did not go through and verify all of these. I'm just going to kind of scroll through here and show you some stuff. But um, I wanted to tell you to check out over the years on YouTube. They have a YouTube channel and they sell a lot of breakables and uranium glass. They know a lot about it. They also do live shows on their channel. And I know they're over on Whatnot also. So check them out. But I wanted you to see um, right here, where is it? How to photograph uranium glass. This might be something that you guys are going to want to go and check out if you're interested in selling this type of thing. But I just typed in uranium on their channel and you can see they've got quite a few um, videos just about uranium glass, but they are super, super knowledgeable about vintage and antique items. Highly recommend their channel and definitely go check them out. I will link that down in the description of the video. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Let me know if you loved the video because I absolutely loved it. It was so fun to make. I was like just looking for different things that I didn't know about that glow. All right, you guys, there's going to be a video popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video down below. If you're new here, thank you. If you've been here a while, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks for watching. See you at the next one.